What goes up must come down, and the best way to go down hills is to make sure you attack them head on. Try to avoid side slopes wherever possible. Don't ever try and go down a steep hill on an angle, because that's just a recipe to flip your vehicle. Now the next thing, if you've got a vehicle like this one where it's got a big diesel and it's a manual transmission, they've got phenomenal engine braking. So first gear low range is the gear to use. Just let the engine do all the braking for you. The reason why you want to do that is it'll keep the wheels turning. If you use your brakes too much and you lock up, you lose the ability to steer. Now I've got my right foot on the brake just lightly, just lightly feathering it, but I've still got the clutch all the way out. Just while I line up the vehicle before I get into this rutted section, and what I'm doing now, so I am using the engine braking, but I'm feathering the brakes just for this first little bit. Once I'm through that, then I can let go of the brakes and let the car do its thing. Now, if your vehicle does go into a slide and you lose the ability to steer because you've got your wheels locked up, you have to accelerate. It's a little bit daunting, but it's the only way you'll regain the ability to steer. And to check more TJM full driving tips, go to tjm.com.au. TJM.